All right, guys, welcome back to the backlog. Uh, you got Preston here right now, or you don't have Preston here right now. <laughs> I don't even know who I am, guys. You got Dane here, and and man, I'm really sad, and I'm really disappointed in someone who's not here at the moment who'll be here in a second. So we recorded this episode. Uh, we got done. I was like, man, I think it was one of our best episodes. I'm so proud of us. We did such a good job. We had like his daughter walk in, go, "Daddy, Daddy, Daddy, stop for recording." And it was funny. And uh, there's a really funny story I read, and we're, we'll get to that. We're gonna do that. It's probably not gonna be as funny on our end because we're not getting our initial reactions. But we'll try to recreate it here for you. But we ended, and we went to go stop our audio recording, and um, we weren't recording the audio for our whole focus. So here's the man of the hour walking back into the sound room. I uh, cannot believe that you did that, but you know what? Mistakes are going to happen. Yeah. And doggone it if it hasn't been a ton of mistakes with us. So uh, it's a learning process. We're we're learning. So again, I'm sorry that it, of all the episodes, I'm sorry I had to do this. It one. was so good. It's okay. We're still I, we're still going to go back and read the story in a minute. It's still a funny story, and we're still going to laugh about it. Yeah. It's just not going to be the same yeah. um, as what it is. So now that we've got all that out of the way, I'm sorry. This is not as funny as it could have been. And if you're disappointed by this episode, you can put it in the comments. But just remember that it was Preston's fault. It, it was, was not my oh, fault. my fault. <laughs> at all. I didn't have. The, I had nothing to do with it. I was comedy gold. The the moral of the story is Preston needs to get a second monitor so he can have the recording software up on the second. So monitor. if you like us, the more you like us, the more you subscribe to us, maybe we can actually get that second monitor. So it's worth it. So <laughs> so really, if you're still with us, please like it. Okay. So here's where we messed up. This is uh this is where we um lost our communication. Technical difficulties as usual, so we'll come back here in a second with the other part of the video. Okay, so um, we're back here. We were good. I don't. I don't even know what happened. The, I, I lost my Wii at this point in time. And I. I yeah. It's okay. I've got. I've got uh, a fact on my phone pulled up, ready to make you guys laugh. I'm just waiting. Just waiting to to get to the point where we're gonna read it. What were we talking about before that? I don't remember. Uh, we Nick Arcade. We were talking about yes. Nick Arcade. Dude, so we started off the episode. I'm gonna make it real quick because I I remember what we were talking about before. First of all, if you don't know what Nick Arcade is, go check it out. I'm a big Mega 64 fan. I don't. Are, have you ever watched those guys? I've before? seen some of it, but okay. I'm not. I'm yeah. a huge Mega 64 fan. Love their work. They did a video about a year ago. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, just Nick Arcade. For those of you who don't know what Nick Arcade is, Nick Arcade is a show that was on Nickelodeon. It is. Uh, it was around the time. It, it was, was in all... the heyday of Nickelodeon. When yeah, it was in the heyday of Nickelodeon when all the kids stuff was on. Like it's around the time Sonic was out. But it was like a game show with teams of two, a boy and a girl, put it against each other. They would answer questions and then they would go play video games. And so there was one night I was watching an episode like two in the morning with one of my really good friends. And uh, um, we're watching this episode. And so what would always, every time, always, 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 always happen is the boy and the girl would go uh, up to play the arcade machine. And the boy would always, like, push the girl back. Like, who's playing? I'm playing. And push her out of the way. And it, it happened every single time. Then... One one episode. Usually the teams would only get up there once to play once. So one episode, I think it was funny to break this uh, just yeah. right here. Um, sorry, we're not going to comment much probably on the gameplay here because we did it on that. But um, so one episode, this team actually gets up and gets to gets to go twice, and it's uh, it's like no way they, they never get to play twice. And the girls have got this the biggest smile on her face, like she is so happy. She is going to get to play the game. The boy got to play it last time. She starts walking towards that. Uh, they were the cabinets. She starts walking towards that cabinet. Who's playing? Boy pushes her out of the way. It's my turn to play again. Oh, but just like literally push. I literally pushes her. I'm dying laughing. I think this is the same episode. Um, so that that's hilarious. So then the way that it would end it is they would... Whatever team won would get to go try for a prize, and it was all over green screen. 
So they would like play, they'd be in the video game, they'd be playing over green screen. And there'd be like three screens they had to go through. Like one screen would be, um, one screen would specifically be, um, like get these things, and the next one it would load up another one, you'd have to get all these things, and you couldn't get hit too many times, because there'd be stuff flying around, and they'd be like moving their bodies around. So, it was very seldom that a team actually won. Uh, they had like 30 seconds to it, but I can't remember how long it was. But I'm watching one episode, and I think it was the same episode. But we're watching an episode, and this uh, um, this team gets past the first stage, gets past the second stage. You're right, I'm like, man, we're going to see. This team's going to win. Goes black for the third screen to pull up. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Five seconds, six seconds. It was like seven, eight seconds long. And the whole thing is timed. The whole thing's timed. It finally pops up. They got like five seconds left. They can't get that crap done. They they fail. It cuts back to the host of the show. And the look on his face is like, oh man, we just screwed these kids. Like, that is the look on his face. <laughs> is he cannot believe. And he doesn't know what to say. Yeah. Like, you, he's, the look on his face is just, I don't Wait. It's like you, and ju he's, you just watched your... <laughs> good try, guys. You almost had it. He the whole time. These kids, they would have won. It was the funniest thing. Oh, so oh, go man. check out old Nick Arcade. It's hilarious. So that would it's be hilarious. So, bad. so that story was probably just about as good as the first time I recorded it. Um, but here's the kicker. Here is the Mario fact to kill all Mario facts. Yeah. I might have a couple more, but guess what? They're not going to top <laughs> this one. So if you've stuck with us this long in the backlog, if we're on episode 14 or whatever we're 14. on, we're two weeks in of our daily episodes, you stuck around for the right thing because guess what? This, this is worth it. it. This is worth it. This is it. And I hope it's as good as the first time we recorded it when <laughs> Preston didn't record it, actually. But you're fighting this giant canvas, so good job. Do your thing. And trying to get turtles. With. So the boo character which first appeared in super mario brothers 3 um was actually based on a developer's wife so that's like the headline so i'm like oh that's kind of neat okay like where are you going with that yeah, yeah. and then as you read this you do the snippet the uh it literally the monster's origin so it's calling it a monster right off the bat uh was by stuff a co-developer so in an interview uh actually i guess with miyamoto this was according to an interview with Miyamoto. So, like, this guy can fight with Miyamoto? Taka, Takashi... I don't... I'm sorry, I can't say Japanese names. You want to take a shot at that? Takashi Tezuka. Okay, there you go. I'm, I'm sorry if I just butchered that guy's name. Hopefully, the rest of it better. Anyways, so I guess he can fight with Miyamoto. And he said... This is what Miyamoto said. Is Mr. Tezuka got an idea about putting his wife in there. His wife is normally is very quiet normally, but one day she exploded, maddened by all the time he spent at work. So in the game, there is now a character who shrinks when Mario looks at it, but when Mario turns away, it grows large and menacing. Dude, are you serious? Did you just you? All right, for those of you who are not married, that's not a good idea. That's okay. I'm not saying that you can't take inspiration from something in your life and make it part of a game. That's like, that's fine. fine. Guess what? Marriage life is stressful sometimes. You fight through it. You know, if it's like a little joke. This dude is not married anymore to that uh, woman. No. If this came out public and your wife found out that you made her a monster in a video game? Like, a monster. She's a monster in a video game. And it's because she got so pissed off one day that she just blew her lid at you yeah, yeah. because you worked too much. Dude, you are divorced. And if you are not divorced when this came out, you're divorced now. Uh, because yep, it's on the internet. That is the most ridiculous I, thing I have ever read. I just want to like create a time machine so I can go back and watch that conversation. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you tell your wife? Like, I don't... I don't understand the thought process like i do i do i guess i understand the thought process and i think it's interesting that that's how that character came to be but you don't tell anybody that no nope. oh man i thought it's a ghost so i just make a ghost not oh my wife got real pissed at me one day and and like oh my gosh like, i cannot tell you how mad she was yeah. uh and so i thought i'll make her a monster 
Yeah. So, so I'm sorry. I probably wasn't quite as funny as the first time. But I hope you enjoy that story. And that is the Mario fact to kill all Mario facts. So, thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Backlog. If you got something crazy like that, not like not, not don't get too crazy. But like, if you, your wife got pissed off at you one day and you made her a monster. Write that in the comments. I want to know. Yeah, we want to hear about it. Yeah. So thanks. Thanks again. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow on the Backlog.